Hey guys, Apple Cow Prodigy here, and today I'm going to be talking about some of the biggest news that came out of Comic Con. Probably the biggest news that the that Man of Steel two or the follow up to Man of Steel is going to be a Batman vs Superman movie. The rumored title is Batman vs Superman, which I really wish that's not the title, but it probably will be because that will make a ton of money. Because Batman made them a ton of money. For those of you that don't know, probably most of you don't know, uh, Batman is my favorite superhero. It's actually not really even that close. I find him the most interesting character, and I think he has the best uh, range of villains, and he has the coolest like psychological dilemmas. I, I think Batman's the best. So when I found out this news, when I heard about it, I was ecstatic. I was like, this is awesome. But now I'm like... I'm still really excited. I'm going to see it. I mean, I see nearly everything. I mean, I saw I saw White House down in The Lone Ranger, which although I enjoyed both of them, more than Iron Man 3 at least, um, those are not blockbusters. This is going to be a blockbuster, if, if there ever is a blockbuster. Batman and Superman. Oh my god. And I have some just quick notes over here, so remember what this video can be a little bit focused. First person, I love Man of Steel. I know a lot of people did not really like it. I acknowledge it has its issues, but I can look past them, and I... Because I was just so disappointed with Iron Man 3, so disappointed with the Avengers, so disappointed with the Dark Knight Rises, that I just wanted a good superhero movie, and I thought Man of Steel delivered that. When people complain about it, I think you just had way too high expectations going into it. I mean... I love that movie. I've seen it, I think, three times. I'm going to buy it on Blu-ray. I adore the movie, so I was just super looking, looking forward to the sequel. That, I, anyways. Um, and also, I really like Zack Snyder's movies, so I'm excited that he's coming back. Um, sadly, I, I haven't seen Watchmen or 300 yet, which I know those are like his best movies ever. I'm going to watch them eventually. Calm down. But I really enjoyed Legend of the Guardians. I thought that was a fantastic movie, but it pissed for the box office, so I was like, I want a sequel. And then, I thought Sucker Punch was good enough. I mean, it, it looked really nice. The story was, this is kind of, this is kind of weird. But, uh, it looked, it looked visually pleasing. Not, not only because we had Gossie, but Nessa Hudgens, like, half naked. I mean, that was always a plus. When they announced this Batman vs. Superman movie at Comic-Con, they used a quote from Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns. And, um... I am gonna watch the anime movie that just came out of that, Bat or uh, the Dark Knight Returns Part One, Part Two. I'm gonna probably rent those and watch those. I'm, I could probably review those if you guys would want. That worried me, cause I thought what I wanted the DC universe to start off with. I want Man of Steel, Man of Steel Two, uh, Flash, Wonder Woman, whatever you want. So let's just say Wonder Woman Three, Flash Four. World's Finest 5, Batman Superman Team Up, then 6 be Justice League, then have it be Batman vs. Superman immediately after that, have something happen in Justice League, that leads into Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns, like have Batman have to return, or I, I guess have, no, I, after, after Justice League have a Batman movie, then, uh, Wonder Woman 2 or whatever, then Dark Knight Returns, World's Finest Sequel, Batman, Batman, vs. Superman, Batman vs. Superman, which we're getting next, and then Justice League 2, and then Man of Steel 3 with Doomsday, and if you don't know what happens, then there would be a sad scene since we've introduced everybody in the DC Cinematic Universe, there'd be more people there than just Batman. That was what I wanted. I don't care if it would take 15 years for that to happen, it would be the best. But, I'll take I'll take Batman Superman finally teaming up. And, David S. Goyer is an okay writer. I don't think he's terrible. I don't think he's, uh... Lost writer bad. What's his name? Uh, Lindelof. Lindelof sucks. He's really bad at writing. But Goyer is decent enough at writing. Um, I, I, he wouldn't be my first choice to pen anything, but he wouldn't be my last either. I'd be like, he'd be like 
20th percentile, probably, of writers in Hollywood, but he's, it's still decent enough. Um, Christopher Nolan's is affiliated in some way, he's producing again, so he'll have some creative input, but I think he's gonna stay a lot of, uh, I think he's gonna stay away from this a lot and just put his money into it, because he'll make, he'll make a buttload of money, and he's gonna mainly focus on Interstellar, which I cannot wait for, because I love Inception and The Dark Knight. Dark Knight Rises didn't really like, but Inception I think is like one of the greatest movies ever, so I cannot wait for Interstellar. Although they cast Topher Grace, so I'm not sure. So, so he's better in this than Venom. Um, and also, Hans Zimmer will most likely score this. So is Hans Zimmer going to have to <laughs> make another Batman theme? I mean, he'll probably just... I mean, if he recycles it, I'll be kind of mad. But if he's just like a, var like a variation of it, then I wouldn't be mad. Like, I'm, I'm excited because Hans Zimmer is one of my probably top five composers. So, I, I listen to the Inception soundtrack and the Man of Steel soundtrack all the time, so I'm super excited that he's going to probably... I mean, he's most likely going to compose it. Like, I probably get like 95%, because he, he's composed like all of DC's movies, and all of Christopher Nolan's movies, so I, I'd say it's a safe bet. Now, the biggest question coming out of this is, who should play Batman? First choice is Christian Bale. Give him Robert Downey Jr. money, he deserves it. But he probably won't come back, so I'm not going to hold my breath. I'm not going to be like, come on, I'm Christian Bale. If you can't get him, Jackie Justin Gordon, love it. But they've confirmed it's a new Batman, which means they'll have no affiliation with the Dark Knight trilogy. So that's sad. I thought it would have been really cool to have it be Justin Gordon, love it, or Christian Bale, but it looks like that's not going to happen, so. Eh, that sucks. Who I don't want is Army Hammer. Army Hammer would suck. If you don't know who he is, he is the Lone Ranger. He, and he was rumored to play Batman um, in the Justice League movie for 2015 if the script was so bad that they threw it in the trash and was like, Man, it's the Lone movie we're making for like three years after that, so you guys better be happy. Like, that script was pretty bad, apparently. And Army Hammer is like, Shit! Lone Ranger, you're terrible. I can't even get this gig. I'm, I'm done. Army Hammer had a uh, what's his name? The guy that started in Avatar, his syndrome, where everyone thought he'd be the big next big star, casting him and everything. Turned out to, to not be a box office draw. And now nobody wants him. He's that guy. Now Michael Fassbender would be awesome, Batman, but he's not gonna do it. Him and Ryan Gosling, I think, would both be good. But I don't really want Ryan Gosling. Because he said, is he thinking of a break from acting? So, I don't think he's going to do it. Michael Fassbender is going to be too busy with, like, Prometheus 2 and the Assassin's Creed movie and stuff like that. But I don't think he'll be able to put a full time into this because he'll be filming this and Assassin's Creed at the same time, I think. Most likely, because they both, they're going to be released, like, within two months of each other. So, I don't think he'll have just the time to accept it. If they decided to make him black, Idris Elba, I mean, it, Idris Elba is a badass, okay, in Pacific Rim. So I'd be pretty static if they cast him as Batman and have him be black. I mean, why not? They're, they're gonna have the Human Torch be black, so why can't Batman be black? But I don't see that happening either, but it's a dream choice. And then one guy that I think would do a great job as a Bruce Wayne and a Batman, I think he'd be able to pull off the noble playboy... Uh, Bruce Wayne, with also, not really noble Bruce, Bruce Wayne, but more the playboy, rich, smartass Bruce Wayne, along with noble, vigilante, go against the man, Batman. I go against Batman, I mean, like, be vigilante, don't do a legal way of fighting crime, but do it for the greater good. And I haven't heard anybody say this, so I'm kind of proud of myself. Maybe it's because I just finished Game of Thrones. But uh, Richard Madden, who plays Rob Stark in Game of Thrones, I think he could do a fantastic job as Bruce Wayne. Um, just think about it. I mean, Rob, their characters aren't that far off, except for Rob is a lot more noble. But, uh... 
I'm not going to go into spoilers for anything in Game of Thrones, because it's not Game of Thrones video. But I can, I can see him pulling it off, and I think his schedule would probably be open to be... Because I, I don't think he's in much, besides Game of Thrones. So, and play caught up on Game of Thrones, so it'll spoil anything for anybody else that hasn't watched it. But, uh, so I think he'd be a great choice. He'd probably be my first choice of anybody that's not Christian Bale or Joe Singer and love it. But I think odds of him actually being cast 20,000 to 1. I don't think they're high at all. But Warner Brothers, if you guys are watching, contact his agent. I'm sure he'll accept because he's probably looking for work. And I think you do a great job. So I want to hear from you guys. Uh, who do you want to play Batman? Because I think Richard Madden would do a great job. I mean, as much as I love Logan Lerman and Ezra Miller, they, they can't play Batman. Ezra Miller, maybe as a Joker, would work. Maybe. But not a Batman. So, hope they get in more stuff, because Percy Jackson is not good. Books are good. Movies are not good. So that's about it. I want to hear from you guys. Um, who, do you, who do you want to play Batman? Are you looking forward to this? Are you looking forward to this more than Avengers 2? I know I sure sure as hell I am. I mean, probably looking forward just to Star Wars 7 more than this. But it's pretty close. I mean, I'm going to probably go to midnight showing of this, be super excited, have my bat, I'm going to buy a Batman costume and go, ah, ah. I'm pumped. So, like the video if you haven't already. Favorite if you similar really enjoyed it. Um, tell me your comments below. Subscribe if you haven't. I love you all. See you guys next time. Goodbye.